Hi, this is Shawnee T. Turrell with a BMW E46 boot fix. Um, I've already previously done this fix on my car, but I thought I'd just go over it again just to uh, help people out if they're in the same situation. Here we have my car, E46 323. A few basic tools, a bit of a socket set, uh, a flat blade screwdriver, um, some GT85 oil, and the small socket set, at least you need an 8mm socket. Um, usually sometimes you get the way the boot completely sticks uh, like that and the solenoid isn't working at all um, this will fix learning work if you can already get in the car from the inside BMW in their wisdom for some reason didn't put the latch on the inside of the vehicle the seat latch is inside the boot as you've probably already found out right on with the job in hand so we uh, nip into the back of the car and remove one of the speakers. All the parts here laid out in order. There's the we've got the uh, to reveal the hole. So we've got all the parts laid out in order. There's a cover for the speaker, a bit of a gasket goes around the speaker, the speaker itself, and the cone that it sits in. Uh, three studs to take out of there with uh, an M8 and one jack plug to remove the. Uh, speaker itself leaves you um, a nice big hole to get your arm through and if you just poke your arm through there and straight towards the back of the vehicle you'll be able to feel the latch to undo the seat and let you in. I'll just show you from the inside of the car there's the latch in front of you and just push it forwards and pop the seat easy no need to break any rear lights or anything like that now once you're into the back of the vehicle you can then, probably with a torchlight, work your way around in there using the flat blade screwdriver to uh, remove the plastic pins from the liner of the boot. And that will reveal the... But on the inside here, don't mess about with that bit. It's irrelevant, doesn't help whatsoever. I broke mine trying to do it. So there's the studs you can see, the little plastic ones. Pop them out, remove the liner. Uh, and it will reveal the mechanism and just pull on the cable that you see in front of you for the mechanism and it will just pop straight open. You also do need to remove the tool uh, chest part on it. So just a handful of the plastic grommets to move. Now on mine, mine failed uh, because of breaking the uh, wires in this um, sleeve here quite common problem with the E46 I would say probably one of the most common issues with the boot on the E46 E36 and probably a few other models dare say later ones possibly E90 or some of the other later ones that I haven't looked at but if they follow the same design it will probably endure the same wear and tear and have the same issues so I've seen previously seen on someone else's video where they cut into this but um, that's unnecessary here I'm going to show you how to do it without having to cut in. Firstly, just remove the top grommet uh, to bear the wires and carefully remove the bottom grommet, pulling it outwards. Once you've removed both grommets, the uh, outer sleeve does continue on into the uh, boot of the car, past the grommet, which you'll see in a second. Oh, when you uh, when you get deep enough into yours. Yep. There, the rubber grommet continues through. Next thing, that's quite hard for the wires to move, so we use some PTFE slip or GT85, uh, WD40, anything of similar. Please don't use any water. Squirt some of that down, lubricates the cables in the sleeve, and the sleeve can be then slid down over the wires and once it's worked in a little bit uh, we don't want to be putting water in because uh, otherwise we'll end up with uh, electric shocks shorting out other bad stuff right so thread the uh, thread the grommet back inside the vehicle now once it's passed through the the skin of the boot you can then start to carry on threading it through now we may need to help this from the inside from behind the boot liner but you can thread it through enough so the outer sleeve will go all the way all the way into the liner. Let's replace the camera there and you can see 
so just behind that carpet liner there the sleeve continues and you can work it just carefully without damaging the wires any, any more than what is necessary I just say at this point when you come to mend these and reconnect these wires please use solder and heat shrink Try, do not use the um, connection clips and things like that because there's not really enough room in the sleeve and they do seem to work the way loose quite quickly and then once you've bared it down you can push it all the way in and leave the wires free to work on when you've done them heat shrink them up after tape them if necessary and uh, all good and then to, uh, to refit simply just slide it back out again In this video here, where I fixed mine, uh, I had actually four break, uh, four broken wires. There you go. Slide it back out. Carefully took the wires back in. You might need to feed from the inside the boot as well, but just re just remember that I'm doing this in real time, so this shows how much of a, a quick job this can be, with minimal damage to the vehicle and. Um, hardly any sign that anyone's even been in there and any alterations, modifications or repairs have been done. Again it is in real time so you can see I'm just having to just faff with the grommet just to get it back in properly in its, uh, in its correct place uh, so make sure it's sealed from the, uh, for the weather seeing as though the British weather consists of uh, six months of miserable winter weather followed by another six months of miserable grey cold weather they call summer. Now the top grommet just to complete the uh, complete the fix and then as for the rest is just the headliner in the uh, boot and refit your speaker which is just the reverse of how he did it. You can check the boot works, maybe even better if you check the boot without without actually shutting it properly. Just pressing the solenoid, the switch, you should be able to hear the lock mechanism work before you slam it down. And that's it. Uh, as easy as that. So this could cover other BMWs, later models, not quite sure, like E19 other such as. But if, you're, um, if you find this useful, um, please... Feel free to comment or ask any questions. I've done many fixes, so there's there's quite a lot that I'll be able to uh, sort out for you. Um, please give us a like on YouTube and um, subscribe if you like this. Thank you very much, guys. Good evening. Uh, see you again. Bye bye.